Hi guys, this is Jan from CrossCloud and in this quick tutorial let's take a look at the very basic 3D scan cleanup techniques. How to cut off unwanted parts of your 3D model and how to close 3D holes. I think these two tasks are the most common when dealing with 3D scans and the ones that are very easy but in the same time very effective and they push your 3D scans to a completely new level. To show you what I am talking about, let's take a look at this model reconstructed in Reality Capture. As you can see, it has squared base with these ugly faces at the borders. And if we take a closer look at this part above the tank rails, you can see there is a lot of holes. Because the cover of the rails is pretty thin material. And for, for photogrammetry, this is a very hard task to properly reconstruct it. The same problem happens with clothes, for example, where you often end up with a lot of 3D holes. Now let's jump for a moment to the state we want to achieve. As you can see now, we have round base, very clean and sharp. And when we take a closer look to the rails, there are no holes. Look much better, right? This one is also decimated, so it has only 400,000 triangles opposite to 10 millions of triangles in the original one, so it's 20 times smaller, ready for web publish, and looks even better. But we won't cover decimation in this quick tutorial. So let's do it by ourselves. Okay, so let's export our non-textured original mesh. We decimated it before to 10 million vertices, just to handle it better in the sculpting app. It's important to set the file type to OBG. OBG is kinda classic, I would say old school and very well supported 3D file format across all the 3D applications. For the actual editing, I will use 3D code. So let's open it. It's my favorite sculpting app, but the workflow and tools are pretty similar in ZBrush, for example. If you are looking for a free application, there is Blender, of course, with its sculpting and modeling tools. But to be honest, I'm sure you will be able to achieve the same results in Blender, but definitely not as straightforward as in these sculpting apps like 3D Code or ZBrush. At least that's my personal experience. So let's open our previously exported 3D file. Click on Surface Sculpting, open new file, what's located. We can auto scale it. You don't have to worry because 3D code will preserve the original dimensions. We want to import without voxelization. And that's it. Let's click on apply. And we want to preserve the dimensions. This is important. Okay. So now we have our 3D scan in 3D code. Okay, so now let's do the magic. As the first one, let's cut off the unwanted borders and create round base. One of the main reasons why I love 3D code is it's super easy and straightforward boolean operations. It means cutting off. Let me show you. But maybe at the beginning, let me show you how to control the camera. If you are holding Alt key and right mouse button, you are zooming in and out. Holding Alt key and left mouse button, orbit the camera. And if you are holding middle mouse button, you are panning. Okay, if you want to reset your camera, there is this button. If you have ever tried ZBrush, I am pretty sure you have to admit that this is really, <clears throat> let's say, natural. Let's try the cutoff tool. You can select it in the left menu under the adjust, or you can press a spacebar and select it on the on-screen menu. Then important is to hover over this icon. There are other options, and for our case, 
we need the vertex lasso. So now if you zoom in to some part you want to cut off, for example like this, if you left click, you are drawing these green lines that defines the area you want to cut off. When you are happy, you just double click to close it and 3D code will cut it off. How easy is that? If you hover again over the other options, you can select the circle lasso. It does what you expect. Now you are drawing just the circle. So let's cut it off like this just by releasing the left mouse button and yeah, voila. Nice sharp cut. So this is the cut off lasso. Let's put it back. So let's finally cut off the base. For this step, I needed to go back to the older version of 3D code because what I am showing you is the beta version of 3D code 2021, but there is a bug at the moment at the cutoff tool, so I need to use this older one. So let's use the orthographic projection and let's let's take from the top. Let's pick cut off tool. Let's choose circle. Let's start our circle in the center of the tongue's, tongue's tower. And now important thing, you need to hold the shift key all the time because we want to invert the selection. We want the outside of the circle to be cut off. So we need to hold down the shift key as, uh, as we are drawing the circle. And this is it. Much better, right? Back in 3D code 2021, now let's close the 3D holes. At first, why I say 3D holes? Because a hole means in 3D graphic world something a little bit different. Almost every 3D editor has an option to close holes. As you can see here, for example. But if we use it, we get a message that there are no holes. A hole in the 3D graphics world means a kind that two-dimensional hole in the model's topology. We can create such a hole, for example, by deleting some model's faces, like this. You can see that this hole is kind of only two-dimensional. It's kind of only in the model's skin. It's not going through the model. Now if we again run the close holes command, now there is one hole and we can automatically close it. But what we have here are kind of 3D holes with proper topology, so we cannot close them automatically. They were created because photogrammetry process wasn't able to correctly calculate it such a thin material. Without the right tools, closing such holes can be, well, let's say not easy and straightforward. Fortunately, 3D code, and I would guess ZBrush has something similar, has this reconstruct brush. And it's a miracle for closing such holes. Let's start with some small one. And the point here is to mark the outline of the, of the hole and click apply. And voila. The hole has been closed. Let's try something bigger. What's this one again? We'll just go around. Okay, one more time. Important is to select everything and not to let some small residuals. Click apply and again, we have closed it. And so on. I think you got my point, right? I will speed up the process, but I will do only one part. I don't think it's necessary to do everything.
Okay, I think that's enough. You, I'm pretty sure you understand the point. Of course, it takes a few minutes, but the result is definitely worth it. You can, of course, mark larger areas to not go one by one, kinda, but then you are increasing chance of uh, bad topology and other issues. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay, so we are done in 3D code. Let's export our mesh and import it back to our photogrammetry app. Here you can automatically decimate our export, but we don't want to, as decimation is uh, going to be a topic of our next tutorial. So this time we can just click on cancel. Reality Capture users needs one more step to import the model back. This is the folder with our files. exp.obg is the original export from Reality Capture. And as you can see, there is a file .rcinfo. To import our edited mesh back, we need the same file also for our new code obg file, which is the export from the 3D code. So we just copy and paste the .rcinfo file and rename the new one to code.obg.rcinfo. That's it. Let's go back to Reality Capture and import our edited file. We have a warning that the model contains non-manifold edges. Do we want to clean the model? Yes, we want. Great. So we have our little baby back in the Reality Capture with round base and fixed holes. Cool. So let's Let's run the texturing now. So at first unwrap the model. I'm usually going for four 4K textures. So let's unwrap. And let's texture our model to see that our fixed holes are correctly textured. And there it is. And if we take a closer look at the part we, fi we have fixed, you can see that it's correctly textured. Okay, that's all for this quick tutorial. If you want to take a look at the final 3D presentation of this light tank with transitions to the crew space, visit the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned.